Top 20 Software Architect Interview Questions and Answers To succeed in a software architect interview, you need to invest in transferable skills and technical knowledge. This article will look at some of the questions that you should expect in a software architect interview to increase your chances of landing the job. Take a look at the following, 1. Why are you interested in this position? This is a standard opening interview question that helps interviewers deduce if you have a genuine interest in the position you are interviewing for. Do not mention any financial reason, sample answer, I love building software systems and applications. I was exposed to computers and technology at a relatively young age and spent a significant part of my life experimenting, I would love to continue building these systems for different people and to meet varied needs. I believe that this job will allow me to do just that, too. What are the roles of a software architect? Can you tell some of the mandates of a software architect? The interviewer wants to know if you understand what you are charged to do at the workplace, everything you mention should be specific to the job you are interviewing for, sample answer, a software architect's primary role is to design and develop software systems and applications after interacting with clients and product managers. They review the code to ensure that the design is not complex but of high quality. Software architects also collaborate with others and provide the necessary mentoring in the workplace. They further work with different teams to evaluate technologies and develop prototypes. Some roles may also vary depending on their workplaces. 3. What are the qualities that a software architect needs to be successful? The interviewer wants to know if you understand what it takes to be a good software architect, you need to mention all the skills, attributes, and abilities that have seen you get that far. Remember to be as accurate as possible. Sample answer, a good software architect should be technically credible, given the nature of their job, they must be influential technical leaders given that they work in group settings and may be in charge of teams. Other qualities include optimism, creativity, strong will, self-awareness, transparency, adaptability and social awareness, ability to work and fit in well in team settings, and conflict management ability. 4. Mention the main challenge that you faced in your former role. How did you overcome it? The interviewer wants to know if you can solve the problems you will face in the new workplace, showcase your problem-solving ability and convince the interviewer that you will do a good job. Sample answer. My former workplace gave me a chance to learn more about this field, and for that, I am grateful, however, it relied more on independent work than teamwork, which I found somewhat challenging, as someone used to working in teams and collaborating with others, I find working in environments that appreciate collaboration easy. However, that doesn't mean that I can't work alone if called upon. I have experience in both settings, 5. Mention your daily routine, do you know some of your daily mandates in this job? The interviewer wants to know just how conversant you are with software architecture. You can refer to the job description or your experience, sample answer, my day revolves around designing new software systems and applications, reviewing code to ensure that they are of high quality and not too complex. Collaborating with my team members on new projects, offering mentorship and, at times, apprenticeship, leading meetings, and developing prototypes, I also take some time during the day to update myself with new industry trends. 6. Briefly describe your experience, you should always be ready to tell the interviewer some of the places you have worked in and roles you have occupied in your career. Sample answer, this is my 10th year as a software architect. However, my interest in computers and coding started a long time ago. I have worked in different positions in several establishments, including some of the biggest IT firms in the country. I have vast experience in coding and code review, which has helped me stay on top of the game. I can write and rewrite code, build different software systems and applications from scratch and perform diagnoses. 7. Mention a mindset and strategy required for this role. The interviewer wants you to mention a way of doing things that can guarantee success and a set of beliefs that should guide your operations. These will tell just how good you are at the job you are interviewing for. Sample answer, the best strategy that any software architect can adopt is investing in their team playing ability since most software architecture work is collaborative, knowing how to work and get along well with others is therefore crucial. As for the right mindset, 
optimism is mandatory for any software architecture. It is one of the qualities needed in these professionals as it influences results and keeps the team together. 8. What is the main challenge that you foresee in this role? The interviewer wants to know some of the challenges that you anticipate, be honest but don't mention a challenge that will make you look incompetent, sample answer. I must say that I am in awe of your policies and work environment. You have done an excellent job in this establishment, which other entities of your caliber should emulate, therefore, I cannot pinpoint a given challenge at the moment as everything looks okay on the surface, I am confident that I will be in a better position to comment once I get the job, I am also positive that I will handle these challenges well. 9. What keeps you motivated in this role? The interviewer wants to know what gives you the strength to continue despite the challenges you will face in this field. Sample answer, I love building software systems and applications, I believe that my passion for this job gives me the strength to face any challenges that I encounter as I go about my duties, I also have specific goals and ambitions that I work hard to meet and achieve, and therefore, I can't stop at anything, I believe that this pushed me to give my all and be at my best always. 10. Mention a time that you failed in this role and the lesson you learnt, the interviewer expects you to be not only accountable but also be able to learn from your mistakes. Therefore, be honest and don't shy away from admitting that you failed at one point in your career, sample answer, I once didn't consult with my team before starting on a project which almost cost me, I thought I had everything sorted out and saved the team some time by getting right onto it, however, it didn't turn out as I had anticipated, and they felt sidelined. This experience taught me the importance of feedback and consultation when working with a team, I always ensure that they are included every step of the way. 11. Why do you feel that you are the most suited candidate for this particular position? The interviewers want you to sell yourself and convince them that you are the most suited candidate for this role. This is where you mention some of your most outstanding qualities, sample answer, I have vast experience in software architecture, which sets me ahead of all the other candidates, this is my seventh year in both freelance and employment, I have overcome many challenges in this field and gained lots of skills and expertise that will help me in this role. I am also always ready to learn, thanks to my openness to new information, lastly, I am hardworking and committed, which I believe will help me succeed in this field. 12. Mention your greatest achievement, make sure that you show a sense of pride, sample answer, I love health, fitness, and wellness, my most outstanding achievement was building the GoCheck app, which helps women track their menstrual cycle and teaches them about their menstrual health. It was my first application, and it turned out to be one of the most successful I have ever built. Even though I don't get much from it, given that it is free, I am still proud that I help make someone's life better, I hope to build more of such applications in the future. 13. Walk us through how you reach a decision when it comes to locally installed applications and web apps, the interviewer wants to know if you can make the best decision that answers the client's needs. Convince them that all your choices are made based on the best interest of the customer, sample answer. My decisions are generally based on the client's needs, I usually ask myself what they want to achieve after understanding their objectives, when dealing with a chain store searching for an e-commerce platform, I will settle on web applications as they are more suited for online shopping, I, therefore, usually have a discussion with the customer, understand their needs, and then settle on the best application. 14. Have you ever integrated SN architecture? Tell us about some of its benefits, the interviewer wants to know about your experience and achievements using some of the provided software development structures. Convince them that you are not only a problem solver but also someone attentive to details, sample answer, I have integrated the shared nothing architecture, also known as the SN architecture, which comes in handy in distributing a computational approach, it allows one to establish independent, standalone nodes which don't need any single point of contention, it comes in handy during large-scale projects such as creating e-commerce websites as it can establish independent memory and enhanced file storage. One of the positive aspects of the standalone architecture is that the failure of one node doesn't affect the other, 15. How do you normally delegate tasks? Remember, you have to be a good leader if you want to succeed in software architecture. The interviewer is assessing your leadership skills, which includes task delegation. 
Convince them that you are good enough, sample answer, I have dealt with several teams in my career. When dealing with larger units, I find the scrum methodology very helpful as I can create several groups of up to five people, I then assign them given tasks within the project and supervise them through scrum meetings, I can monitor and review performance, confirm whether the strategies are working, and check the success rate of the projects. It is. Therefore, accurate to say that Agile frameworks with Scrum implementations are the best way of managing teams, especially larger ones. 16. What is your experience with component-based design? The interviewer wants to know about your experience with a given software architecture design approach. You need to sell yourself and convince the interviewer that you have vast experience in the system. Sample answer. I usually implement a component-based design when working on a significant contract as it allows me the liberty of reusability. This approach requires that a program design is divided into components making it easy to define communication interfaces, thus enhancing reusability. Clients are the most satisfied when this approach is used as it helps save the overall cost on the client's part, I also get to slash the maintenance cost, which is often done by my team. 17. Mention your greatest strength as a software architect. The interviewer wants to know about some of the things that make you viable for the job you are interviewing for. This is a chance to sell yourself and convince the interviewer that you indeed deserve whatever they are offering at the end. Sample answer, I understand the collaborative nature of software architecture and development, therefore, my most significant strength is working in team settings and rallying others towards a common goal. Having been in different teams before, I know how to handle different personalities and get along well with various people. Thanks to my negotiation and leadership skills, I usually make sure that my team members are ready to perform and go the extra mile. I am optimistic that I will deliver if given a chance. 18. Do you prefer working alone or in team settings? The interviewer wants to know your preferred working style, which one suits you best. However, before you answer, Ensure that you find out what the company likes so that you don't come off as a mismatch. Sample answer, even though I can function well in both, I prefer working in team settings, I believe that people are more productive when brought together. Teamwork also enhances creativity and sharing of ideas, which is necessary especially for software architecture, I love working with others and meeting new people, which is only possible if I have a team. Therefore, if left to choose between the two, I will go for teamwork. 19. What types of applications and software systems do you prefer working on? This is yet another question asking about your preference. The interviewer wants to know where your interest lies, as it can come in handy when pairing you with a team. Be honest but also point out that you can work with any. Sample answer, I love working and looking out for my health and general wellness. I, therefore, love working on applications that touch on nutrition health, wellness, and fitness as their purpose is more fulfilling, they also help people realize the physique and lifestyles they want, which I believe is essential. One of my best projects was a meditation app that I worked on, it helps people relax and connect to their natural being after a long day at work. I even use it at times, 20. What are your salary expectations, what do you look forward to earning once you get this job, even though you should get more than your previous job, you need to be realistic. Most hiring managers will either give you a chance to mention what you'd like to earn or include the salary in the job advert. Sample answer, I have done my research, and I have to say that I am pleased by the salaries you pay to your software architects as it shows that you value talent and experience. However, as an intermediate software architect, I expect a salary of $130,000 a year. Even though it is an upward of what I earned in my former workplace, it is justifiable since I will have more responsibilities. Conclusion, this marks the end of our article. These are some of the most common questions in software architecture interviews. Make sure that you have the answers at your fingertips and convince the interviewer that you will do an excellent job if given a chance.